First, we need to log on our FreeWorld official website, www.freeworld.cn, and download the installation software for your Windows, MacOS, or Android on the page of L2 Plus. After unzipping the installation file, please right-click and choose to run as administrator to install the software by default on Windows. On your Mac and Android, just double-click to install. After that, the software is installed successfully. First, connect the computer and the L2 Plus to the same router. In order to realize the connection, you need to send the first three segments of L2 Plus IP address the same as that on the computer. Here you can go to Network and Sharing Center to check the computer's IP address. Then we go to IP setting menu of L2 Plus and modify the IP address. For Mac and Android, we suggest you connect to the same Wi-Fi network. On your Android phone, place Open Setting, tap Wi-Fi. Here you can see the IP address. Then go to L2 Plus and set the IP address to the same name. After the connection is successful, just double-click to run the software. Click Search and choose the device you want by adding an IP. Now you can see the operation interface like this. Click button menu can open up main menu as on the device. In order to get the picture, first we need to connect the L2 Plus and the computer via the USB 3.0 cable. Click the menu button, then go to Live Streaming. Choose Free World USB 3.0 Capture on the device capture and turn on the H.265. Now you can have all input source back on the software. We can also change the output mode. Go to USB 3.0, click PGN. Now you can have PGN view. Input information displaying the resolution and frame rate of your four HDMI inputs. HDMI and USB 3.0 to customize the mode and format of your HDMI and USB 3.0 output, including PVW view and PGM view. Live streaming here, you can also import the OBS application if you need to do live streaming. Click Import, open the folder and choose OBS. If you don't know where the program is installed, right-click the OBS icon on the desk. Click here. You can find the location of your OBS. Copy and paste it. Now we go to OBS. Add a new source. Here we choose Free World USB 3.0. If you have no pictures, 
Turn off age point to 65 on the software. Please note that age point to 65 in OBS cannot work at the same time in Windows. VivoLib provides a test signal output, which can be used for interface testing. Choose the interface and pattern you want. There are two patterns. One is color bra, the other is solid color. You can change the color using the sliders. HDMI output settings include this HDMI output and DVI output. You can switch HDMI output to DVI output. You can also choose the color space for your image or video. In order to avoid remote control conflict in the same land, FreeWorldLift provides a password protection function. As an administrator, you can set the password for the L2+. Plus. In LAN port set, you can set the IP manually or automatically. After setting, you need to restart the device. T-bar correction here allows you to calibrate the position of T-bar. Comma key here. First, choose the color you want to remove. Here we choose color green. Then go to picture in picture and send the AB layer. Make sure that A is for background video and B is for overlay video. Otherwise, you may not see the comma key effect. PTZ camera setting. Here we need to change PTZ's IP address so that the computer L2 Plus and PTZ camera can be in the same lane. Then connect L2 Plus, PTZ camera, and PC to the same router. Set both old IP and new IP to PTZ's IP address you want to control. After that, enable it and you can control PTZ camera. Logo overlay. Choose the picture as the logo. Click logo generated. You will see the upgrading on the LCD screen of L2 Plus. And the logo picture will be importing. Now you can place it anywhere. Here we can also go to color picker and choose the color you want to filter in the logo picture. So then the logo will match your background more. Turn on the switch, click Generate it. After upgrade, the fighter color will disappear in the logo picture.